on the notice paper, and on indulgence, Mr. Speaker, it is a sad day today because I want to acknowledge the AAP journalists who were here. Um, the AAP will not be operating here anymore, and those journalists um, will be not, obviously not employed in those positions. And we extend to them, to Paul Osborne and Katrina and the whole team, our, our best wishes to you and your future. Uh, AAP has had a proud history here in the Australian Parliament. Many of us will remember Pete Vaness um, from many years ago. He was a a marvellous man um, who we lost to cancer many years ago. Um, but they have a wonderful history in this place. And, uh, and when you have such an important institution such as AAP coming to an end, in not just here, Mr Speaker, um, that is a, a matter of, of real concern. But we want to wish them and their families. And we want to thank all of those who filled the gallery on behalf of AAP in the past for all their great work. And, and we wish them all the best on this difficult day as well. I'm just going to call the Leader of the Opposition, who indicated to me prior to question time, he wished to uh, rise on exactly the same matter, the Leader of the Opposition. Yes, Mr Speaker, I did indeed, because today is a tragedy for our democracy. Uh, AAP, Australian Associated Press, have played a valuable role. Mem members on their left, they've made their point. In, in this building and in the old Parliament House since 1935. Since 1935. And the newswire will close in June. So to Paul Osborne, Katina Curtis, Dan McCulloch, Lucas Koch, Mick Seekers, Colin Bridenston. Matt Coglin, Rebecca Gredley, Finbar O'Mallon, Don Wolford, Mark Tewkesbury and Eamon Tiernan, we wish you well. We thank you for your contribution over such a long period of time in terms of holding us to account and informing the Australian people uh, wherever they live. That's the important thing about AAP, was that unlike uh, the other bureaus with respect, uh, you got out everywhere. We're covered on radio, covered on other newspapers, including suburban and regional and rural newspapers, and uh, you will lead a, leave a massive void in terms of information coverage. Uh, democracy should not be taken for granted. It relies upon the education and communication of what happens in this place and uh, around economic, social and environmental issues to the Australian public. And the Australian public will be less informed as a result of the decision today that I think is a great tragedy. But on a personal level, I thank you for everything that you've done uh, and uh, I wish uh, you well. Uh, I hope uh, that uh, you stay uh, involved in what is a, an honourable profession in the media. Uh, we on this side have had a, a, a bit of a, a run in recent times saying journalism is not a crime. Well, it's, that's true, but it's much more than that. It's a vital component of our democracy. Yeah. Yeah.